hi everybody like this this like orangey yellow that's going on is like definitely changing affecting my skin tone on camera i look more bronzy but that's not the point i'm gonna dye my hair today i'm gonna try something new but otherwise this box has been here with me for like maybe a month now it's been I, it's just been sitting there i know you've seen like a bunch of other boxes too waiting for me to show you guys what they are but um this one was the i don't even know if it was what kind of collection this one was it's like the spring one from ColourPop, so it's been out for a little bit some of you probably already bought it maybe some of you've seen it at ulta or something and you're like wondering if you get it um i'm trying to see if i can pull it up now new and now so, let me try to get her way out of that. I'm going to try and see if I can find the actual, like, little lot of these. Um, because it's, it's been a bit. And ColourPop releases stuff like crazy. So, I also did, um, pick up these blushes from them. And these are $10 a piece. I did get to the... Sw 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 swirl? <laughs> and the toffee cake. Those are two actually shades that I was like, yes, I that will definitely work for me. But there we go. The All the Buzz collection is what I have in front of me right now while I'm dropping it on my lap. But I have that right here. So let's see. We have the one that is the Glow Getter. Glow Getter. This one. The cute boxes. Like, they're really cute boxes right now. The palette matches the inside of this. No mirror. It's a very beautiful flower in there. And then it's nice, like, a gray black in there. Two, four, five shimmers and three mattes. So you're going to get, like, a very simple nude look out of this one. And it comes, that collection, little group came with two of the Super Shock shadows, which look like these. Right there. Also more on the nude side. A lip oil. Um, Gleam on. And it looks like this. Oh, it's very pretty. Like that. And we have the shimmering body highlight. Like, this is heavily scented. Like, as soon as I opened the box, I could smell it. And that's one of the things I'm not happy about is the fact that these bodies shimmers like have scents to them i don't think they realize how many people out there actually get like scent sensitivity and they have migraines or headaches from these like it's like maybe like two notches down on the scent like just a hint of it versus the it's gonna hit you and slap you in the face kind of smell would be good but this one's a little too heavy because i literally opened the box and it's just like bam. i'm like oof but other than that little bit of ranting. Next one is this beautiful like orangey yellow golden one. Wannabe. You get it? It's like a cute little bee. So we're going to open it up. Cute matches. Name shades. Beautiful. And this one's definitely more of a nude warm tone on this one. Beautiful. You got your two super shock shadows with this collection as well. your shimmering body highlight shimmering body powder is what they call it though same thing very scented if i can get it open Oof. this is very pretty it's like a you see that tone in there golden pink i think it's very pretty I closed that plastic in there and I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna, it's gonna, sh it's gonna scratch it. And then the lip oil on this one, comb by. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that one. I'm probably gonna mix and match on these collections, you guys. And the next one we have is So Fly and it's got a dragonfly. Same thing, very pretty. 
Wonderful. If you're wondering about this, that'll be in a different video, and that one I'm going to do more of a reveal because it's a lot, and I need to do comparisons. This one's very pinky neutral with a random blue in there, I guess because the dragonfly can be blue. I don't know. Here's the body powder, bronze hour. Mm. I don't know why I keep thinking the scents will change. It's their signature scent. This one's a goldeny, a warm golden tone on that one. Not too bronzy like the other one. Here are the Super Shock Shadows on this one. It matches that one blue tone. And then here is the Emperor lip oil for that one. So for this, um, I, I want to get my nails done, but I already have a lot of yellow going on, so I think I'm actually going to go with this one try to balance out the yellow that's going on. I mean, by the time I take photos, <laughs> this will be gone. But we're going to go with, like, this. This palette. Let's see if I can actually come up with something. You guys know I'm not the best with neutral looks. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's true challenge today. So, let's begin with... Let's do signal. We're going to do signal all over the lid. So all over the lid, as you see, it's a very skin-like tone. I just want to add it as a base. And then in the crease, because that's what we're doing, in the crease, I do want to go in with flare, this one. I'm going to do it here, like this. Bringing it out. And then to deepen it, we're going to use this one, Sundown. It's got golden little speckles in there, silver, gold, silver. Can't really tell. And do it on the outer crease and floof it out. Very strong, very pigmented. No complaints on that end though. We're gonna soften back up again with flare. We do want to keep it kind of toned down. And then I do want to go in with um, Dimmer, this one, to try to diffuse it a bit more on the outermost edge. So I'm going to lay this some down and then go in and blend it. Kind of to help diffuse it more. See how it's helped soften it up a bit more? And then for over the lid, because I do want to keep some iciness to it, I am going to use this one, the flashlight. It's like a silvery. It's very interesting shade. Oh, I was supposed to use the Super Shock Shadows. Well, okay, we're going to use it in the inner section like this. I'm leaving that spot empty right now because I did want to try to at least use one of the Super Shock Shadows. Because normally I don't. You guys know how I am. So let me see which one I want to use, if it's going to be out of this collection or the other. I think it might be the other one. Let me see. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the one out of the actual um, Flown Away. These. I'm going to use the blue one. For a pop of contrast here. I know, and I said I was going to keep it neutral, right? Man, I did say that. Should I keep it neutral? I'll keep my word and keep it neutral. I'll go with this one then. <laughs> we'll go with the one that's 
can you believe B? So this one, we'll do this one instead. I did say I'd keep it neutral. I don't know why I said that. So I'm going to use this nice little golden tone, this one. It's in harmony. So I'm going to wipe that off. Beautiful gold. Gonna get some. Ooh. Ooh. That's gonna be the rest of the eye right there. I don't think there's anything like super shocking about this yet. Hmm. Well. Definitely very neutral eye look today. I'm not used to it. I am so not used to it. It's interesting. I can say that. It is definitely interesting. So for the bottom of the eye, we're going to go in with Night Night. That one. It's got like a blue tint. Definitely comes off black though. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to continue with, now I want to go in with something more shocking. Which was the one that had the blue? I think it was the other one. I don't think it was this one. Yes, it was. Yeah, we're going to go with that blue. And this one's in the So Fly. And that will be the continuation of this one. I'm sorry, I had to. I had to. I just couldn't keep it completely new. I let you down. But now we're going to go back with this one from the pink one. The. Oh. Oh. I thought it. I thought these. Oh, wait. Here's a sleeve. From the flown away part. And it's this beautiful pink. Very shimmery tone. Look at that. Look at that shine. Like you can't, the camera can't even pick it up. <laughs> so, wait, let me pick the correct one. So I'm going to go in and grab some of that for my inner corner. Ooh. Yes. Yes. It's going to be under my brow too, because I want to be extra. Now this one's a super sharp shadow. Like, wow. That, I cannot even deny that. This is so pretty. Like that shimmer on it, that shine. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'll be back. I'm going to do my other eye, do the liner, the lashes, and then we'll move on to like the blushes and the lippies that I got randomly with this collection because I had to. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I feel like if I had like my normal colorful hair, I would really be into this eye look right now because it once I put the liner and the lashes on, it just came together. Like it's such a nice nude. I, like, I'm actually feeling it for once, like, ooh. But, let's move on to the lips. So, I got these, like, lippy, the blotted lip collection from ColourPop. And then I also got the lip, I think these are lip oils? No, the lip creams, the New Year collection ones. Because I just wanted them. Like, I have no other. <laughs> There's a lip decor, lip cream, and glossy lip stain. So, these are like bright red, so they're not going to go with this look. I can't do it. But look at these. Look at those. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I'm excited whenever I get to do a like bright red lip. That was a darker one than the other one, if you couldn't tell. And then there's one more. Super dark. Beautiful. Love them. Love those. You will see me use these soon in one other video, hopefully. Hopefully once I catch up with everything. <laughs> but I, I'm going to do the, um, this one. This is the lippy I want to use for this look. The lip oil from Combi, the one with the bees. The one with the bees. Since I'm going to use it. Because I just like that color. I think that's going to be very pretty. I feel like I should put a lip under it. 
like a lip color. That's what it looks like nude. It's just glossy, glossy, glossy. Okay, so let me try to... We have the blotted lips. So, let me try one of those. One of these. So, I have a lot. I got Melty. Just this one. And we got On Film, which is a nude. Like that kind of tone. But that was it. it is slightly more pink. It's like a pinky lighter brown. We have shook. I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet. Ooh. Definitely was shook when I opened that one. Los Feliz. Very new. Super mellow. Oh, those two are so similar. Almost can't tell them apart. Missing you. If you want swatches of these, you can let me know. Like actual, all my lip swatches. And I will put my lips through that pane for you. Otter. That one's nice. I might go with that one. And finally, Talker. Talker. Or this might be it. This might be the one. Yeah, I think this is going to be the one. So we're going to go with Talker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just a nice hint of color. See how dry my lips are. It's very hydrating. Ooh. I like that. Mmm. And so I'm probably not gonna be able to use the lip oil on it because it's already very um hydrating. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try. I'm trying to tap it on. <laughs> but maybe it'll work. Yeah, that made it a bit more glossy. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. It's a really nice nude neutral look. But here are the blotted lips. I'm going to try to hold them all together. <laughs> try. Like this. So those are the ones I got. If you're interested in seeing at me actually try all of these on, one at a time, not all in one go. One at a time, I will do that for you guys. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna keep the boxes because I already took them all out of the box. But I'm gonna do the blushes if you, but overall, let me wrap up with the other collections in case that's why you came here for that collection. The palette, look at this. Beautiful. They're all really beautiful. Like nude palettes with a pop color here and there. The shimmers are great. They're nice. They're not too in your face. Super, super, super shock shadow from the, um, the flown away collection. I really like that one out and it's super like bam in your face. The other one was like, eh, not really anything super about it. In my, in my honest opinion, my humble opinion. It wasn't too in your face, but you know, I don't know what the other ones are like. If you want me to do a dedicated video on just another specific one, really go into detail on that one and how they perform, let me know. I will gladly go back and do a quick little one on that. But, so, yes, as always, I think they're a hit. The lipsticks are um, nice, comfortable. Oil, the oil ones, very sheer, like a lip gloss. Um, I will swatch this one right here because I did like this one, but I can't wear it because I'm not going outside for another three hours and I'm not risking staying indoors with it on. But look at that. Very scented. Thank God. Woo! Woo! <sighs> but yeah. So I'm going to do a quick swatch right here. Beautiful, right? I wish I could wear that. Like right now. Right now. Just put it on. I can't. 
I cannot. <laughs> but I'm going to do the little blushes the way I normally would do my other blush. We have this one, which is the Toffee Cake, which is this dark red. I love dark reds for when I do right here. So I'm going to grab a little bit and try it. Because on top of my contour, just to add a little bit of rosiness. Just one tap is all I'm doing. One little tap. That's more than enough, see? Beautiful! Oh, I love that. It really brightens up the face. Gives you color. Gives you, you know, a bit of life. Oh, okay, so. New favorite blush to be using in my routine. So excited. So that one's beautiful. Love it. Up front and center. And then the next one I like to do is normally I put some right here. And this is swirled. I'm hoping it's a lighter pink because normally that's what I do on the apples of my cheeks. Oh yes, this is perfect. This will work. It's like this, very light. Normally I just go quick little pat, get a little bit on there, do a little bit here, a little bit there. Try to not do too much because I already have so much on my cheeks and I have already everything else going on. So just a small hint of color is what I want. And then I just build it up like that, just like that. See? Oh, yes. Yes. Wonderful. Oh, oh. These, I definitely recommend these. Um, I did see them on the page before I forget. What did I say? $10 for these blushes a piece? Yes. $10. And the collection, see here, and I thought I was done speaking about the collection. But the All the Buzz collection is in total, the whole thing, all three palettes, the three sets of Super Shock Shadows, the three body highlights, and the three lip oils all together for $132. Don't forget to use your codes on ColourPop or your points at Ulta or whichever one you're doing. If you want just one individual collection set, like the little sets, they come to $44. The palettes by themselves are $14. The body highlight powder is $12. The Super Shock set is $10. The lip oil is $8. So, fairly good prices if you want to mix and match and break them apart like I did when I did this look. Because, you know, I know they want to curate little cute little collections. But sometimes it doesn't work. Especially if you have a tan. <laughs> Natural tan, you know. that It just comes with you. Part of the package. But, um, yes. Don't, don't ever feel like you have to just settle for whatever they curate together. Even if it combined. You know, don't, don't do that. Do what's best for you. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys fairly soon because I'm going to try to do this here. So I'll see you then. Bye.